industry night. We've always loved coming on to the great shows. And... I'm always looking for work that I've never seen before. And, of course, I'm looking for talent that I've not discovered. These final year exhibitions at art colleges all around the country mark the end of years and years of hard work and creativity. And they're incredibly important for new artists as they emerge from art school. Are they going to go off and become the next big thing? Are they going to get representation? Who knows? But tonight's the night where they get to make a massive impression. Social networking definitely is incredibly important for a night like tonight. You're trying to put your best foot forward and stand out. So this is the graduate exhibition at Monash University and literally there's art everywhere. There's photography, there's painting, there's sculpture, there's installation, there's cellophane, and there's a woman eating chicken drumsticks. It's true. Feeling a little ill actually. Don't think I'm gonna have a drumstick again. For us it's a good way of presenting our work in a professional manner, trying to get um, our, the articulation of our, our ideas as clearly and as professionally as possible. Melanie Irwin, graduating from the Victorian College of the Arts, says it's also about gaining valuable experience. The more exhibitions you install, the more you learn about the installation process and about how your work changes in each space that you install it. And this is an exhibition on it fairly grand scale. But it's not like a make or break. I mean, for example, if you were trying out for a sporting team, that is the night we've got to impress the selectors. This is not the same, is it? Not at all. Each student uh, who is showing their work here would have had maybe two, three, four exhibitions already while they were doing their degree. So they're already embedded in the profession by this stage. That means showing their work at either commercial galleries or artist-run initiatives. I've had two solo exhibitions. They're not commercial galleries at all, but I think that they're, they're good venues for emerging artists, I think, to show their work. VCA graduate Georgina Q's final works were impressive, elaborate embroideries that were crafted to resemble traditional paintings. In essence, it's almost an anti-painting because I took techniques from traditional uh, Dutch masters, basically, um, you know, involving perspective and dramatic lighting and things like that. people that are graduating this evening, how many of them would you say are going to be noticed by commercial galleries or curators or even artists run spaces? It's really rare that a kind of blue chip top end gallery will pick somebody up from um, an honor show or grad show. And art dealers Jared Rawlins and Murray White both agree that artists need time to mature. I've met young artists here that I've eventually gone on to show and work with, but I would never want to get anybody excited about the idea of exhibiting or representation at this stage, it's, it could be very destructive. I think we need to see a bit more you know, professional development, um, but having said that, the people we're showing at the moment, I realise it's a collaboration, two artists, but one of them did graduate from the VCA three years ago. And there are signs of you know, equal work here tonight, there are some beautifully made things in, in all departments. For some students, the decision to continue practicing as an artist after graduating isn't an easy one. I don't know if I'm cut out to be the sort of struggling artist with no money, but I definitely do want to keep um, pursuing my printmaking whilst also not having to rely on it as my sole source of income, because I think that would take the fun out of it. But for others, being picked up or represented by a gallery or dealer as soon as possible is a priority. It's the most important relationship as an artist to make it possible to go on, um, you know, to make a career. I think to come out of art school and, and already have um, a gallery that might be interested in showing your work um, is, yeah, I mean, it's an optimism that, that I hold. <laughs> but sometimes it does happen. Carl Scrace's work was exhibited by a gallery in Melbourne before he graduated last year. We found that he was quite commercial. You know, people were interested in his work. You know, he was, his work was selling. Um, but we knew that because he was still developing as an artist, 
we wanted to allow him time to actually grow and um, discover even more. So when it comes to the crunch, how do you pick the next Ricky Swallow or Patricia Piccinini? You can definitely spot it. It's not just talent, but it's ambition and it's drive. And it's the capacity of a student to see themselves going beyond what they've done in the art school. So if you're willing to take the plunge and buy work from an up-and-coming artist, most of the work at graduating shows is for sale. And perhaps try and follow a dealer around just to see what they're looking at. Although I can promise you they won't be giving anything away. Yeah, I have seen a few things that I am impressed by, but I wouldn't, you know, it would be suicide to mention it. Yeah. <laughs>